Hello everyone, in this video I will walk you through the process of creating a continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline for a machine learning project in Azure. First, I will show you how to set up a, a local or cloud native development environment which is connected to a GitHub repository. Then we will use GitHub Actions to set up a continuous integration pipeline and Azure pipelines to set up a continuous delivery pipeline. Finally, we will use Azure App Services to serve our machine learning API. All the steps described in this video can be found in the GitHub repository. I will put the link to the repository in the description of the video. Without further ado, let's get started. First, you will need to fork and clone this repository. I have already forked the repository, so I will go ahead and clone it. I will copy the link to the repository and then go over to the Azure portal and open a new terminal. Here I have created a folder for this demo, so I will go ahead and clone the repository inside of that folder. Next, we will need to create a virtual environment. This project has a make file that will help us to do so. We need to run the commands make setup and then source. Next, we will use the command make all to install all the requirements in this environment. Now we can go ahead and run the command python app to deploy the application in the Azure command shell. We can verify that our application is running by opening a web app and opening the port 5000. We can also verify that the machine learning model is working by opening a new terminal and running the bash script make predict provided with this project. As we can see, the prediction is working. Now we can go ahead and test that the continuous integration pipeline with GitHub Actions is working. To do that, we will make a small change in the welcome message of our application. We will go ahead and open up that py and add the word demo at the end of the welcome message. Then we will commit and push the changes. Now, if we go back to our GitHub repository and open the tab Actions, we will see that a new continuous integration pipeline has been triggered. We can open this workflow and see that GitHub Actions is running a series of tests to make sure that our code is always in a deployable state. We can also go back to our web app and verify that the change has been applied. Now it's time to set up Azure Web Apps and Azure Pipelines to set up our continuous delivery pipeline. First, we will need to create a new resource group and configure it as our default resource group for the subsequent commands. Then, from the portal, we will create a new resource. We will search for web apps and create a new one. Let's select the resource group that we created in the previous step. We will give it a unique name and select Python as a runtime. Choose a region that is close to you and finally a, li a Linux plan. If you don't have one, go ahead and create a new one. Then select review and create and finally create. This will take some time to be deployed. Once the deployment is ready, go ahead and open it in a new tab. As we can see, our Azure web app is ready to be used. So let's go ahead and create a continuous delivery pipeline with Azure Pipelines. First, we need to go to Azure DevOps. I will leave the link in the description of the video. Then we can go ahead and create a new project. We will give the project a name and a description and click create. Next, we will create a new service connection. We will select Azure Resource Manager and Service Principal Automatic. We will select the resource group that we created in the previous step, fill up the information for the service connection name, a description, and save. The next step will be to create the Azure Pipeline. 
So I will go ahead and click Create Pipeline and select my GitHub repository. I will select Python to Linux web app in Azure and select the web app that I created in the previous step. Finally, I will select Validate and Configure. You can use this YAML file to configure your continuous integration continuous delivery pipeline. I will leave a link in the description of the video on how to do that. For now, we will just add an additional step to run lint test and then save and run. We will need to add a commit message and this will trigger our continuous integration continuous delivery pipeline. Now we should see under pipelines that a new release has been triggered. And we can see it step by step go through the deploy. First, it will build the application. Once the build job is done, it usually takes a couple of minutes, then it will deploy the application. And then at that point, if I go to the app service application URL, we will see that the application has been deployed and all changes are actually reflected here. So this is very powerful. And now as a final step, we will go into the cloud share environment and do a final modification that will trigger the whole process. First, I will make a small change again on the welcome message of the app. Then I will go ahead and commit and push these changes. Now, if we go back to our GitHub repository under Actions, we will see that a new continuous integration workflow has been triggered. This pipeline again will run all our tests and make sure that our code is in a working state. Now, if I go back to Azure DevOps under Pipelines, you will see that a new continuous delivery pipeline has been triggered. And this pipeline will again build and deploy or changes. Once the build process is done, I can go back to the app URL and again check if the changes are reflected, and they are. The app is also available via a predict API, and I can look at that from this file make predict Azure app. And you can see that I'm going to do a post operation using this script. So I'm going to go ahead and run that to verify that the service is serving traffic correctly. And it is. From here, I can go ahead and run this command to subscribe to the log stream of the service. Great, that works. So in a nutshell, we've been able to do end-to-end -end continuous integration and continuous delivery using GitHub Actions and Azure Pipelines. At the end of this repository, you will find ideas for enhancements. This is a very simple machine learning application, but it can be easily extended. You will also find helpful resources from Microsoft. Thank you for watching this video.